And now, against better judgment, I'm gonna go right. Come on, I. Come on, demon eye. Come at me, man. Oh no, no, wait. Don't start quoting the pee bat, that's lame. I'm not a pee bat, I'm a wox. It's a completely different creature. As you all know, a wox is a very, very rare animal that only lived in the uh, 24th century for about two weeks. That is not true. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Actually, a wox is a, it's not a creature, it's more of a phenomenon. I have a sort of love-hate relationship with these demon eyes. They're not that dangerous. But they're- oh, let's go down here. Let's find some safety, I was about to say. Let's find the safety of a cave. At least there I can see what's coming at me. See, in this- you really want to find a confined space in this game, then, um... That's interesting. It feels different from Minecraft, I think. I know I keep comparing it to Minecraft, even though I said it was a completely different game. Which it is. But you know, there's just, um... The premise is the same, I imagine. That, that, that's why people get confused and angry, because it's got the same premise to it. With the day-night cycle, and the zombies, and the floating eyes. Oh no, wait. But you know, obviously Notch can't have the copyright to a premise. That would be a little lame. Come here, zombie. I wish they said brains. But they don't, sadly. Oh my goodness, these eyes are ter- Oh, wait a minute, we decided that, um... That we should use our bow on these guys, didn't we? Actually, that's not much more effective at all. They're easier to hit. What time of night is it? I can't see the moon. Must be behind behind a cloud, or it's about to turn morning, which uh, would be a good thing. Okay, well maybe we can find a cave here, right? No, it's just a little hole. Come on, evil demon eyes! What kind of a world is this? With flo floating eyeballs in the sky. Well, what do these eyeballs belong to? Honestly, who loses an eyeball, man? Especially a demon eyeball. Someone's... Someone's lost their contact lenses here. It must have been the Mojal. The holy creature with one eye for each follower. Which makes it a grand total of maybe three eyes. Which is amazing, because I only have two eyes. I think it's impressive. My goodness, these things spawn in bunches, don't they? And I really want to get this copper, so I have to kill them. Oh my goodness, oh! I just remembered my health. Darn it! Oh, that sucks. So much. Well, at least we're back home, right? And we've got 69 copper ore. That is not bad. Not too shabby. And I love these growing plants. They amuse me. Let's see. We can make... Oh, quite some iron. That is nice. 20 bars. Oh, God. Did I just make some copper coins? No, no, no. I don't want copper coin. What the hell? I want to make some bronze bars. There they are. Twenty-three of them, nice. And a copper helmet. Let's put it on. There we go. Set bonus two defense. That's that's nice. It it looks like I've got some sort of a creature on my head. It's got the little eyeballs and everything. I feel like I'm in a Mario game. Let's see. What was I gonna do? I don't even remember. But you know what? Just to make dying a little more interesting, I think I'm gonna start carrying all of my cash around. 
And I can make silver coins with the bronze coins. Which is... Oh, it's copper coins, by the way. I keep saying bronze. Even though I know that it's not really bronze. Okay, that's good. We've got two more lenses. We need ten of them to summon Cthulhu. And then also some rotten chunks, I believe. This chest was the one with the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that is nice. 25 iron bars. That makes me happy. Oh, now I can make the silver coins again. <laughs> I thought I was out. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see what we can make with this iron, right? An iron pickaxe? I, I kind of want to hold out for a gold one. That could be a while. Let's make an iron pickaxe. Why have iron if you're not going to use it, right? An iron pickaxe. And we're going to have to sell these at some point. Perhaps an iron axe? Nah. Iron hammer would be a good idea, I think. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Now, we should really do some home renovations, I imagine, because we want a merchant to move in. And right now, the guide has claimed the uh, bottom floor. So I wonder what we should do with that. Should we make a new house? Just leave that one to the guide? Or should we just uh, make something on top of it? Mm, I think I'll go with the on top of it. But we're going to try to do something original with it. Not just make a square little box, you know. But first... Hey, Gregory, what's up? Oi. I know you want a hug, but you have to be... You have to be good. These slimes are so hard to housebreak. Especially with them constantly reincarnating. Damn Hindi slimes. I think that is enough wood for now. Because obviously I want to keep my house wood just to make it nice and um, even. You know what I could do? I could make a basement. Make someone move in there. Mm, let's do it. Just a little, uh, little basement. Where, uh, where we can put our merchant. That seems, uh... Oh, this thing is much faster. And it reaches a little higher, I believe. Maybe I could put my work equipment down here as well. Then again, uh, we don't want to uh, derp a derp words. We don't want the merchant to spawn in our work uh, working basement, do we? And there we go. We don't need much. But let me just do this a little more intelligently, like so. Oh, I like this iron pickaxe. It's so much faster than the... Was it a wood one that we started with? Or a stone one? I don't remember. I think we have enough room to make two. Two rooms down here. Let's do that. So I'll just chop out this entire area. And I'm going to use the hammer to uh, take out the backdrop. But don't worry. That actually takes a while, so I'm going to skip that. I mean, you've seen me hit things with the ba with the hammer before, haven't you? You know what the deal is. You've seen one man hit something with a hammer, you've seen it all. And laser, I really want to go down and found a, find a glowing mushroom field as well. Those are very cool, and you can collect seeds, which you can plant. Uh, I haven't really figured out the details yet, but I think you have to plant them underground, maybe in the dark. And then it will start to uh, spawn glowing grass, which you can, in turn, use to grow these mushrooms. Which you can use for better healing potions and whatnot. But that's actually pretty far down. And we are not ready to go that far down. I have decided. Um, 
Okay, well, you know, let's make it one deeper. Chop, chop, chop. Then I'll place the wood, and then I'll skip the, uh, the actual hammering. Don't you guys worry. I didn't get as much wood as I thought. We should plant some trees soon. Once you get the hang of this whole mouse uh, control, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty neat. It's not not that difficult to do. It's great. Okay, so we have a little basement. That's pretty cool. I'm going to hammer it out. Like so. Oh right, probably have to start here, right? Um, excuse me. Why can I not remove this dirt? That is... I am slightly confused right now that... This does not seem to work, but I recall it working before. Maybe they patched it, or maybe I never really realized how to work it. Let's uh, go back up here. We're gonna change that later, don't worry. Make a couple of backdrops, because... Huh. I find that very interesting. Did we have some extra backdrops in here? We did, didn't we? We did. Excellent. Now, I definitely can't place it. So, one would imagine that I have to use the hammer to... Oh, I can do this. I think you just need a st uh, the right starting point. Because... Yeah, I... Oh, I think, um, I think I was just aiming very unfortunately there. Because as you can see, the actual hit point of the wall is much smaller than the way it looks. So I must have just gotten very unlucky there. Okay, not a problem. So I'm gonna skip me doing this, because nobody wants to see me do that. And I will come back to you once I've placed the backdrop. Okay, welcome back, guys. As you can see, I, uh, I finished this up. I didn't think you wanted to see that much building. Uh, and then under this window, I think. Whoops. I've planted some trees out here to the left, just a few to see uh, to see how that works, you know. And I want to turn this into two rooms. Whoops. So what we're gonna do, because a room needs a door. So I have gone ahead and made two doors. One for this room. And one for this room. Let's just open them. Got these little platforms here. Um, and I think maybe I have some more iron on me somewhere. Do I? No, I don't. Oh, oh well. Because I wanted to make an extra chest, I only had the uh, the wood to make one of the uh, not the wood. I only had the iron to make one of them, which is not that bad, I suppose. I wanted to put a chest in every room, but that'll have to wait. So this now qualifies as a room, and this now qualifies as a room. Let's uh, put some platforms up. It looks like we're all we're fresh out. So we'll just make a few more. Now we're completely out of wood as well. Uh, just above the door, I guess. And there we go. And uh, that room will have to wait. But I do want some more torches here. There. Now, uh, now some NP NPCs should start moving in here. Which is. Oh, stretching. Ah, that is a good stretch. So some NPCs should move in here soon. I'm not going to make windows here because obviously it's a basement. So let's put some stuff away. Now that we're here anyway, we're going to keep these. We're going to chuck these in there, chuck these in there, keep these, chuck these, chuck these. And that is it for the blocks. Now for the items. 